The upcoming school year is going to look much different than what most families are used to, learning completely online. But some families figure they may as well make the switch to homeschooling. My heart does break a little bit for those families. Bailey Bunky wants to support those families making this transition. Tell me, why did you decide to start the Hope Academy? It kind of was inspired by honestly, my neighbor, we're, we've been talking about kind of just the craziness that's going on and how school is going to look so different. Monkey has about 10 years of experience in education. She most recently taught the first grade at Willard Elementary. Prior to that, she worked in the Cheney School District as a behavior intervention specialist, much like a school counselor. I got to experience that first transition in last year when families had, when, when we closed schools down, like I was still teaching at that point. I hadn't gone on maternity leave yet, and it was hard for the families to try to keep up on their kids' schooling. She says one of Hope Academy's newest clients decided to homeschool out of caution for their child's well-being. The expectation to make them basically stay away from each other all day and to wear the mask is a is kind of difficult for a parent of the, these children's ages to kind of wrap their mind around. They don't want to cause any trouble. They don't want their kid to get any in any trouble. Starting in the fall, Hope Academy will offer virtual or small group sessions in person at Bunky's Learning Center. What I'm trying to do is create like a kindergarten group or co-op to where the kids can safely meet and experience a little bit of that kindergarten with, you know, following guidelines, um, being healthy and safe. What are you doing to make sure it's safe and, and uh, applies to COVID restrictions? I am able to spend all the time I need to disinfect and to sanitize. Um, materials, manipulatives, everything, all surfaces. The Hope Academy is a dream of Bunkies, but it's one that she never thought would come to fruition out of such an unexpected need. I know a lot of parents are expressing anxiety over it. And, you know, if I can help in any way in the academic realm of that, I would love to. I Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.